are here to learn about writing a novel, probably best to talk to the, uh, you know, the hero himself. Delta has only just found out that he isn't real. Usually they know that already. I've, I've been wondering about if I can see color. So what it's, do I have to do? Well, it's very easy. All you have to do is find the number. Oops, there you go. Okay. And if you can see all the numbers, then you can officially see colors. Six. 26, 15, 6, 73, yeah. uh, 5, 16, 45, 12, obviously, 29, 8, this is easy, huh? 74, and a man. <laughs> Sometimes I like to give her random leads, you know, just to mess with her. Throws her off track a little bit. The library is a great place to write a novel because your character can walk around and anytime he finds anything particularly interesting or familiar or painful, he can um, leave it on your desk. Oh my goodness. I'll explain this in a minute. Today's combo includes, uh, <laughs> Felt crafts, bacon, mm. recovering narcotics. Ain't that nice, huh? I have to try and gather from this, from that, what um, what Delta story is all about. So I have a book about baking. I don't know what kind of messages I'm supposed to glean from a cookbook, uh, but you never know. Pillhead. The Secret Life of a Painkiller Addict. I'm much more likely to find narrative content in here. Felt delicious. Needle felt the treats to make and give. So I'll write down food and domestic activities. These are the red envelopes. Uh, so a character usually just finds these around and they tend to have his deepest secrets. But uh, I don't make my characters give me their envelopes. They can keep them if they want, but Delta's particularly liberal about handing them over. He tends to have a lot, too. Beta only had a couple of... Oh, my goodness. If he hasn't marked any pages, the best thing to do is to just open the book and see where fate takes you. Uh, a thin knife inserted into the center will come out clean. Okay, well, um, if something is in the center, of something, then, and it's clean, that could be a statement about the purity of centeredness. I haven't opened any of Delta's envelopes. He just hands them over. How's it going? Are you finding lots of books? You must be the energy of all those books. This is nonfiction. Mm. 
This is not fiction. None of these are fiction. 1001 Ideas for Floors. Sometimes I get the feeling that Delta is messing with me. That means I can see. Congratulations. Yeah, you can see all the colors. Is that unusual for me? It's a little unusual. Beto was totally colorblind. Oh. He couldn't even tell that his red envelopes were red. <clears throat> what an idiot. Not an idiot, he can't help it. production, Delta. I still want to get ice cream. You want to get ice cream? Yeah, I'm going to show you what a banana split looks like. Really? Mm -hmm. You want to walk up there and order two ice creams for your sane self, really? Never mind. <laughs> you want to know my theory? What? About all this. About all this? What? Because you've asked me three, three times to go get ice cream and it's 30 degrees outside. Walk with me. I think what you really want to do what? is you want to live out everything that you lived out with Beta, right? Well, Beta likes to do things that I also like to do. Beta likes to, you know, get ice cream. <laughs> yeah, and take long walks. Yeah. And browse the library. Yeah. And go home to his bondage box, maybe. What bondage box? You know, I think he'd get tired by all this. All these long hours, day after day after day. Come on. I don't get tired of it. Novels take a long time, and anyway, you're the one who wanted them. Well, you know what, I, uh, yeah, I, I changed my mind, okay? I don't want a, a novel anymore, I want a quilt. Show me a quilt. Oh, I don't know how to make quilts, Come on. Delta. Come on. You're a chaos type. <laughs> Peaches, come on. I ain't no time. Did you call me peaches? Yes. <laughs> I mean, the sun is just... It's amazing. <coughs> it's Epsilon's car. That's Epsilon's car? Yeah, it's Epsilon's car. Epsilon has a car now? You didn't know oh. that? Yeah, you oh want me to gosh. fight him? No, I hope he doesn't know we're here. But don't, don't fight him. <laughs> Why don't, not? just don't, don't. Oh, come on, him. come on. Hey, so, oh. so Epsilon comes around about once a month. He tries to convince Princess that she isn't real. It's a real nuisance, and he's really aggressive. And we're not going to talk to him like we did before. We're going to fight him, right? No. You have a crown. That's already a weapon right there. Come on. He thinks that he's it. real. He wears a construction paper crown everywhere he goes. It was an absurdly long day, Delsa. Yeah. Yeah. Absurdly long. I was looking forward to that ice cream, too. Oh, well, now you want ice cream. I said that before. You said it. It sounded insane. Uh-oh. Oh, Epsilon. He must have followed us here. He doesn't. He doesn't. can't take care of it for me. He doesn't bother with the door. Yeah, he doesn't usually know. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. <laughs> oh my gosh, there it is. It's, it's fine. fine. It's fine. Bye. Hi, princess. Hi. Oh my goodness, Hi, Delta. right in here. Are you okay? You're looking exhausted, huh? Huh? Look at those cheeks. Yeah, take a seat. How are you? I was camping with Lambda and Omega. What happened? Oh, we. We went camping, they picked me up, we got some food on the way, they were being really nice to me, and they taught me a lot of responsible things about nature, yeah. and how to take care of nature, and I learned about plants and animals, yeah. um, they taught me about snakes, and hippos, and reptiles, yeah. 
have tiles. Oh, we pitched yeah, a tent. Yeah. 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 Pitched a tent. Wow. Yeah, That's and every, cool. everything was going fine. <laughs> but uh What they, happened? Um they they wanted to go fishing and they told me to uh oh, I thought they got you by head. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they 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 told me to watch the campfire, keep it going, and I waited and I didn't want to leave the campsite because they told me to watch it, but the, I they told it. you to watch it while they went fishing without you? After after a day and a half, I got worried then. A day and a half? Wait a minute, back up. They went fishing, yeah. and they told you to stay, yeah. and you waited a day and a half. Yeah. I... I okay. Who's Fine. Who helped you pack this box? Because there's no first aid kits in here. Oh. I, I well, don't Lambda see... Well, and Omega told me to bring supplies for the camping trip, and so I brought a uh, string and a watch. It's a shoelace, I think. You got all these bottles, Fly. That one's mint. Oh, these these are all essential oils, yeah. aren't they? Yeah. Well, that's real nice. They're good for your sinuses. They're, that's great. Do you know the, the word sinuses? Gee williger. You got your keyhole. Well, that's very important, Fi. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you've got that on you. You could probably teach Delta a thing or two about that. On my way back, I got this nasty cut, and Whoa. Princess. Let me see. Princess, I might need stitches. Where's the cut? I don't understand. Princess, I might need stitches. It's right there, Princess. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah. Maybe you ran into a minotaur. It looks like fable monster. This Probably is, where you get the nasty This dish. is a tiny dictionary. Half man, half bull. Mm -hmm. so I can in the learn. forest. Are you trying to learn words, Pi? It's a little early for you to be learning words. That's why it's a little dictionary. Who made this box for you? Who's writing on here? I made it. You made I, this? I put my picture on it. That's your picture. It's very good. Look at you. Look at that, Delta. Four leaves. Wow. What do you know? Mm, that's bad luck. Look at that. Oh, Check that out. That's bad luck. Mm -hmm. No, it's not bad luck at all. No, that's a very special fly. But I did get this nasty gash, yes. so maybe it is We're bad going luck. to fix your nasty gash. Is this serious? It's... Is this serious? Fine. I... You should stay with us for a little while. Okay. And maybe not go camping with Lambda and Omega. You already know. Lambda and Omega. Assholes, right? Assholes. We gotta get you some help. We gotta get some stray dogs around here. Come on. Come up, lick your uh, gash. Brand new after that. Did you know a dog's mouth is cleaner than a human's? Oh. Also not true. No. Also not true. I say a lot of bullshit, but that is true. Delta. Okay. <laughs> what about the dogs? The dogs will, will come. I'll go round them up. For the meantime, we're gonna wanna. Uh, slap your arm, okay? And I'm gonna go um, get some stray dogs, but you get your belt wrapped around. Um, I'll find a needle too and we'll, we'll fix it right now, okay? What are you doing? I need to wrap my belt. No, 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 no. Now, uh, we're going to uh, let's see. Now, don't you worry, Pi. I know exactly what I'm doing. Um, we have some gauze pads. And um, wraps. Here's the alcohol. All right. Take two shots of that. Call some more, Nick. Okay. <laughs> Tell me when to stop. Okay. I'm quite serious now. I really need you to um, get rid of the coffee because I'm worried it's going to spill. And I will take care of five. See, I've got the alcohol. I know what I'm doing. Okay. This is going to steam. Okay. All right. I have to clean it, or it'll get infected. Okay? No, don't be so dramatic. Dramatic. Well, I should find somewhere to sleep, right? Yeah. Thank you, Princess. You're welcome, Fi. Thank you, Delta. What? What's wrong? He's just so good. You can tell him anything. He just goes right along with it. Hello. Oh. Be careful. What? I can see the cogs turning in your head. No clock, no brain. It's a metaphor. No. 
I was, you know that's a safety pin in your mouth, right? Careful. Um, I was reading this book called The Mindful Writer, and, uh, well, long story short, I think, you know, we might have been doing things in not so good of a way. Really? Yeah. Awesome. Well, uh, the, the library, things did, I don't know, I'm confused, Delta. I mean, you're sending me a lot of mixed messages, and there's red envelopes <coughs> anywhere, and I haven't opened any of them, okay, but... Well, then how do you know they're mixed signals? Well, because felt crafts and narcotics? That's what they call abstract thinking. Oh, right? okay. So go along with me. Felt crafts, narcotics, form that into whatever it may be. That doesn't help me because I'm not good at abstract thinking. If I were good at abstract thinking, like phi, well then I would know math, you know, and we wouldn't be here, so. Um, you don't know math? I know one plus one. Yeah, well, what's it equal? <clears throat> One plus one. Well, I know that too. Anybody knows that, silly. Uh, the point is that I just don't think the method was working really well. So I'm going to just write some words down and then I'm going to say them. And I'm going to try to tap into your subconscious mind. Do you know what that is? Subconscious mind? No. No, but I'm willing to drink or eat whatever. I don't care. It's, it's a part of your brain that you don't know that you're using. Okay. Okay? Sure. So I'll say a word, and then you say the first word that comes to mind. Okay. Just, you know. Can I play too? It's, it's usually one person at a time. But, do you mind? Come on, let him play. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, yeah, this will be fun. Okay. Cabinet. Shut. Shut. Door. Uh, lock. Lock. Supercilious. What? What? It's extra. Silly. Supercilious is extra. It doesn't have a use. How about this? I'll give you the notebook. And you make a list of words, Delta. On your own. Any words you want. Mm. You make a list. And then you can question me later. Sure. You're an enigma. Mm -hmm. Enigma. Enigma. Another big word. No, I know what it means. I just didn't really hear it the first time. Mm -hmm. What are you doing, Clyde? Uh, the subconscious. The subconscious? Yeah. You're drawing it? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I get one of those uh, delicious aspirins for me? Delicious aspirins? Yeah. You, you know what you're talking about, right? You mean the, the aspirin's a pill. Yeah. It's not the big red thing. That's an apple. So which do you want? No, I'm not talking about the pill. You want an aspirin? You have a headache? Yeah. Okay. Getting your aspirin. Yeah, yeah, fine. What's up? What the hell are you doing here, man? Being. Okay, hey. What? You know you just can't come in here and crash my act, right? Yeah, I'm not crashing an act. Okay. Well, shoebox, let me, let me put it this way. Okay. So, Princess and I have a lot of work to do. Okay. Yeah, are you making a story together? Who told you that? Tell me what? Who told you... Um, who, who told you that we're making this story? Mm, no one. No one told you that? No one. You know we're not real? Yeah. You know all that? Yeah. Well, who told you? I know that we're not real. <laughs> no one uh, told you what? That I'm not real. Oh. He knows that we're uh, doing a story. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that happens sometimes. It happens sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's a good thing you're handy around the house because we, we're going to need to get the refrigerator fixed. You didn't write anything down? No, I didn't write anything down. 
more. What are you doing with that? You don't have to crush it. You don't have to crush the aspirin. I'm getting you to the swallow it. I'm getting to the subconscious. Trying to find a deeper level. Don't mock me, that's not nice. I don't have to mock you. I'm just doing my own research. You're trying to get to the subconscious? It sounds like you're mocking me. I think that's just your ego talking. You like to think of things oh, about you. Oh, really. my ego's talking. Yeah. Yeah, my ego talks a lot. He just says what I'm feeling in a deeper voice. Him? Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. That's very nice file. Thanks. You've got. That's pretty cool. Did you see he's trying to write? <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know that you didn't know. That's, uh, it's okay to not know things sometimes. Yeah, it's okay to not know things. Just take your aspirin. No, I don't want food. the aspirin. Can I have it? No. no. The cow says moo. The snake says moo. The goat says moo. The slug says moo. Hey, why is he still here? Huh? Why is he still here? I don't know. He's pretty harmless, though. The shark says me. A little bit weird. The slug says It's very peculiar. The whale says me. Almost as peculiar as you. Snail says me. Hey, can you, what? Can you just slow down just a little bit? Oh yeah, sure thing. Sure thing, Vanilla Spice. I'll slow down. Go as slow as I can. Deep. Okay, no, suicide. What? Suicide. What? I'm just feeling kind of weird today, so. <clears throat> Go rough. The mouse says moo. The ox says moo. Did something happen somewhere? Yeah, lots of things are happening all the time. Yeah, things happen. What do you mean? You oh, I mean, just like the last couple of days, I just, uh, I feel really weird and off. Yeah. Skunk says moo. Lice says moo. Did anybody piss you off? Did somebody buy your ice cream? And throw it on the ground? No, that's in the movies. That doesn't really happen. Snail says me. You're probably happy out there, though, right? What? No. Says me. Well, don't get in the way of it. No, I just, I just, I'm a little uncomfortable because you seem, you seem like it's, it's upsetting you or something. No, you're upsetting me. I'm not, not trying to upset there. you. Unless Nothing something happens. Happens. Nothing happened. Why would you say something like that to me? That's what I don't understand. It's a really weird thing to say. Okay. So, just tell me. Just be honest. Tell you? Yeah, if you want to tell me why you're upset, then you can. The reason why I'm upset, too, is the fact that you're not telling me stuff. You want me to tell you how you're feeling? Yeah. I guess I'm accountable. I have to be held accountable for all of your feelings, Delta. Yeah, yeah you do. So you've never had to explain anything. Yeah, lies. Yeah. You, okay. you do have to be accountable. Because you're the writer. That's, that's so you tell me how I feel. I don't think that's too much to ask. Existential? So. That could be the thing that you're feeling right now. That's what it sounds like. It sounds like you. Bit. What's uh, what's that? What? what? Existential? Ex existential? Well. Are you talking about like an omelet? Yes. What's what that, that? fire? Do you like it? It's a very fast animal. Well, that's not an animal fire. Hey, princess. It's an animal. It's a fucking cheetah. Come on, guys. We get along pretty well. Yeah, you guys get along super well. 
Yeah. Didn't happen with Alpha and Beta or Beta and Gamma. They never got along like you guys. Oh, well, they were all douchebags. It's different with Phi, because Phi listens to everything that I have to say. Shoebox. What's up? I got a little question for you. Okay. What? You be as honest as you possibly can, okay? What? Do you know what a novel is? Yeah, you're making one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to be in a novel with me? I don't know very many words. It's okay. Yeah. Well, you could learn. He seems into it, right? Are you serious? He's right here. Now? He's here. He's here. Come on. He is here. We might as well use him, right? He did show up. Yeah. I would do a good job, and words are my favorite animals. Oh. Well, words love you too, Fi. I want to do that. So, this is something that happens every once in a while. He's still getting used to it. Isn't that cute? He's getting used to the camera. Mm -hmm. It's really adorable. Yeah, and you won't say all that nasty stuff about real world anymore. Well, it's true, so... Yes, it's very true. But it's not good for you. It will threaten your sense of peace. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I don't even know where to begin. Oh, this is cute. Is this yours? Did you take this from Delta's room? Yes. He likes to hoard apples. Okay. Here are your cards. I think they'll fit. Will they fit in your patch? Yeah. They look like they'll fit. Okay. So if I scramble these. Find cat. If this is cat. Yeah. And this is cap. Yeah. What's this? Are you okay? I'm okay. Don't eat the things that Delta tells you to eat. Okay, this is Phi. This is your name? Phi. Phi. And then this is what princess looks like when it's in words. Because they can see us. That's I. That's I. Then we have this. Well, you want to put them in order, see? Because it's English. You go left to right. Love this story. Love this story. This is also C. They're both yeah. C. These look any different to you? I show them. Just out of curiosity. They're all different. This is the C. We have this, right? This is the C. Is there a ship on the C? There are ships on the C. I see ships there on the C. And last but not least, I see the C. I see the sea. Good. That means you've said something. You can say anything you want. That means... The princess can write it down and put little scrunchy, little scrunchy marks around it. That means I'm saying it. Yes. And then they will know that you have said it. I see the sea. I see the sea. Tell them. I see the sea. I see the sea. Say it like your delta. Say it how like delta will say it. How would delta do it? This doesn't make sense, princess. You like you like the math. And Delta's always talking about shapes. I'll bet they can see. It might be kind of hard. I noticed something in these past couple of days. What? Well, you really like Princess, don't you? Of course, I love Princess. Mm hmm Yeah. And you want her to take you seriously, right? right? I want her to take me seriously. Yeah. Very good. Now, but hmm. there's something you probably should know. What? This here, okay, is your first cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Say it one more time. Cup of coffee. Cup of coffee. Okay. If princess ever, you know, comes to you demanding from you, yeah. you say, I just can't. I mean, you just can't without a fresh cup of coffee, okay? Just can't without a fresh cup of coffee. Exactly. 
Any character worth his weight in salt demands a fresh cup of coffee every morning. Every morning? Mm -hmm. Yeah, every morning. Uh, what, what do I do with it? Well, you have to find it. Oh, thanks Delta. I know where yeah. to put this. Yeah, of course. Delta. Yeah. What is that? Did you say what is that? Yeah. Yeah, that's a picture. No, I know it's a picture. What is that? Um. Oh, are you talking about the, the person? Yeah. Yeah, that's a real person. It doesn't look anything like Princess. Yeah. Well, princess is a is a woman. Okay, that's a real man. Two opposite genders. That's a real man. That's a there real are man. real men. Yeah, it's a real man. Though. You don't know that. What are real men for? What are real men for? Yeah. Um. Well, that's a that's a good question. Um, well, they go to war. Okay. And when they go to war, uh, they have kids with other real women. They build houses for those kids. And this is confusing. Kill those kids in wars. Um, okay, it's a documentary, and it's about real people. Okay. A documentary. Yeah, tell me what you think. This. This doesn't seem fair at all. What? This is gross. Is that all you have to say? Okay, if Princess really likes real men, what is she going to do about us? Nothing. That's the stupidest question I've ever heard. What are you talking about? Every question is the stupidest question you've ever heard, Delta. Literally, if I those questions... Like ice picks in my brain, so please, just... Literally like? Literally like? Even I know that doesn't make any sense. Are we gonna be fine? Is that what you said? Yeah, are we gonna be fine? From what? Real men? men? Come on. Yeah, we'll be fine. I mean, um... Yeah, real men. Don't pose any threat to us. Okay. They're a zero percent threat. If you were to put it on a a scale. Okay. It's so okay. In other words, you, you don't have to worry about that. Um, okay. But uh, lately, you know, if I um, I don't know if you've been feeling this, but there's something. I can't really feel it, but there's uh, there's a force um, that seems to to act all around us. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You do. You, you know what I'm talking like, um, about? Well, you can't really uh, feel it. Uh, you can't really see it. Um, and you can't really even understand it, but you know it's there. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, what about it? You don't really know what infinite is, do you? No. Okay. Infinite is a lot. Okay. Infinite is a, a big lot. It's bigger than this table. Okay. It's like a bajillion yeah. tables, right? So these forces, um, we can't hear them. Yeah. And we, we can't see them and we can't even understand them. Okay. So you, you get all that, right? Yeah. Can't even understand them. Can't see them, can't hear them. Yeah. And that doesn't scare you at all? No. Okay. 
<coughs> Delta? What? Do you want some of my eucalyptus? No. I don't. I'll give you an aspirin. God, 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 God. to write a thing <sighs> about a hot air balloon and Fire's up there yelling he won't get out of bed. He's been demanding his cup of coffee all morning and I brought him coffee and he didn't want it. And I don't feel very good about it. I don't know what to do. Okay. Is that for him? I mean, yeah. He didn't want it though. Oh, he didn't want it? He didn't want it. Oh, I'm sure. Right? I can probably convince him. Yeah. Can you can, please? Yeah. I can go take it out there. You just want to yeah, keep on I just I am trying to focus and I can't and I just feel like frustrated. So Yeah, well you stay down here and work, okay, Peaches. I'll go up there. Princess See shoebox, okay. Thank you. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. I'm a prince! Okay. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. I'm a prince! Oh my goodness. Okay. <sighs> I'm trying to focus, bye. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I'm a prince. Again. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. I'm a prince. Again. Ribbit. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Ribbit. I'm a prince. I'm a prince. Again. Ribbit. Ribbit. Okay, so I think I put these here. What are you guys doing? First. Well, two beats, the ace. And the king says, fuck you to the three. So, you're on your way. Okay. What's next? Delta, uh, these are... These are placeholders. They're not really... They're not... Placeholders for what? Aware, like you and me, okay? I'm just putting them on the table to set up the game. What's the difference? Um, we don't know, because... When uh, people are supposed to talk about something really uncomfortable, and one of them just doesn't want to talk about it. What do you want to talk about? They do arbitrary things until they feel better. Arbitrary? I don't, I don't know arbitrary. It's meaningless. I don't know how you guys can stand being watched so much. 
What? Cameras? Yeah. Doesn't it make you uncomfortable? I guess at first, but... It's easy when you're as breathtaking as I am, you know? Oh. take it from you or you can give it to her when you first get it and I choose the path of least resistance you don't want to keep them for a minute no <clears throat> the more I have them the more uh, I have to stay here right. do you have any right now um yeah I, I found one no oh. you found one yeah really Well, that's good. It's a lot different than not having any fun. Are you gonna give it to Princess? Or uh, yeah, in a little bit. Why are you holding it back? Because it's just one. Wow. I mean, it is just one. But you remember what happened to Alpha, right? He didn't give any of his envelopes to Princess. So in the future, when you think I'm going to keep all of my envelopes, see what happens. Just know what happened to Alpha when he kept all of his envelopes. Yeah. Right? I'll be cow. Who taught you to kill? How did you learn to count? <sighs> Can you explain to Princess how this works? Because she has a very hard time with numbers, unless she can see them exactly. How do you know that this is ten and this one is one? Because I started at one. Hi, I'm a cow. Hi, I'm a fox. Hi, I'm a sheep. Hi, I'm a horse. Hi, I'm a turtle. Hi, I'm an owl. Hi, I'm a tiger. Hi, I'm a zebra. You know that words are not like numbers. If you mix and match them, Got your precious coffee. Well, what's wrong with it this time, Fi? <sighs> I want you to look at me, and I want you to understand that your unnatural obsession with coffee has been noted. 
It's a beautiful day. The gooses are geesing. The ducks are ducking around. Where did you find that? Under a tree. Under a tree. Well, congratulations. That's a nice place to find an envelope. You sure you want to hand it over? Yeah. What does hold the fort mean? Hold the fort is an expression that people use when they want you to look after a place while they're gone. Why? Last night, Delta was in the kitchen, and he was just sitting there in the dark. He starts telling me about this thing called deja vu, and that he's been getting deja vu all the time. And then he said, hold the fort, shoebox. And I just get a really bad feeling. Where's the bad feeling? Is it like in your head? It's all over, princess. Okay. Okay, well, just hold the fort for a He just leaves these things unsealed. Empty. Empty. Okay. Yeah. Well. Delta is not in the house, so I am going to go and look for him. Now, if Epsilon comes here and he tries to fight you, you will lose. Okay. So I can't arm you against him, but I can tell you to repeat after me. If Epsilon hurts me, it's not my fault. If Epsilon hurts me, it's not my fault. Say it again. If Epsilon hurts me, it's not my fault. One more time. If Epsilon hurts me, it's not my fault. Very good. All right, you just hold the fort. I'll be right back. I guess this is awfully embarrassing. The key thing to finding Delta is finding the kinds of places where Delta might want to be. So. It would be good to find a triangular space, but most spaces are very square.
lot harder than it looks like in the movies. Poor Delta. He's lost. How's he supposed to navigate? He only has three sides. Explain that to me. I looked all over the park, and I looked by the lake, and I looked behind buildings, and I looked in front of buildings. There's no sign of Delta anywhere, and it's cold, and I'm really tired. At some point, I'm going to have to decide when to go home, because Phi is all by himself. I really shouldn't have told him this story about the frog prince. I'm worried he might find out the real one. Because in the real one, she doesn't, she doesn't kiss the frog. She fights with him and then throws him against her bedroom wall. And that's when he turns into a prince. It's kind of violent and weird. I brought some snacks. I'm hungry. <sighs> I wish Delta would come home. Some kind of explanation would be really great for me right now. I'm not going to give you an explanation. You realize I can't do that. I can't do that. You don't want to. I, you I don't have want no, to say what you're feeling. Nothing bad or interesting has ever happened to me. How am I supposed to be of any use to society if I can't you are experience a purpose. things and, and have <sighs> real experiences and emotions oh, and oh, poor shit? You. Whining! It's not boo hoo hoo. It's it's a fucking void in my fucking chest, and I I'm nothing. Do you understand, Peaches? No. I didn't have anything in me. I'm not gonna make a novel. Just not. Did you open the envelopes? Yes. What did you find? What is going on? No, I'm not gonna yeah, You really, you're gonna have to tell me with words. Don't, don't tell me about it, just tell them about it. I'm gonna tell them about it. Why not? You can. No, I just... I don't know. I think five would be a lot better for you, honestly. Better for me? Yeah, it'd be a lot better for you. Better for me? I think better for you, I think. Yeah. I think, I think it's better for you. I think you were trying to get out of it and just like pushing Phi into the story so you can maybe just go. Oh man, life is suffering. Suffering is just, it's just part of the deal. You caused some suffering today. I can tell you that. I know that this, this is, this is uncomfortable. It's not comfortable, but you know what's a lot worse? Because I can tell you what's a lot worse is when no one bothers to write about you at all. No one knows what you are, who you are. No one real ever looks at the void. That's uncomfortable. I just, I say things, and I don't know where it's coming from, okay? I, I feel like I'm just compelled to arbitrary, arbitrary action. action. I just, I, I wish you would trust me. 
I trust you. I really do. Trust me, so. I knew you were going to find me about a split second before it happened, so. But You're still getting deja vu. Yeah. yeah. Come on. I'm so tired. Yeah. Let's go to our chicken for you. I left him at home by himself. You left him at home? of all of this. I've never seen them like that. Yeah, I mean, I do. Where do these come from? I, I love seashells. I'm gonna go uh, check it out. Yeah, which do you go? Your character may exhibit symptoms of anxiety or panic uh, in connection with a particular artifact, such as coffee. For me? Yeah, it's for you. Oh. Look what you did. I'm still trying to wrap my head around this. Oh, come on. You like it. I do like it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I thought it'd be a nice surprise. And you can also mark time with it as well. Mark time with it. How? Yeah. How? Well, for them, mainly. Seashell was a cup of coffee. Oh, yeah. And he just broke oh, you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It really wasn't that hard. See, your princess, if I. Uh, he's desperate for your attention, right? And for your praise, and. We'll see that. I have to harness that power, princess. You think you're empty. You should trust me, you know. Oh, I trust you. Come on, princess, I trust you. Jeez. I mean, I knew you were going to come and find me a second before it even happened. I trust you. You're still getting deja vu. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or maybe it's because I'm compelled to arbitrary action. Does king plus nine equal? Nine king. Oligarchy. Correct. Oligarchy.